But that's the point. The point I'm trying to make is don't, don't, don't wait until the end and then just try to fix a few things. Fix them right now. If you're sitting here today and you know something ain't right, how do you know it's not right? Because you know what the manual actually says. You're just not choosing to do it because it ain't broke yet. If it ain't broke, I ain't going to fix it. Well, if you think it needs fixing, it's already breaking. And so don't wait. And so manufacturers do provide us with buyer's and user's manual, and that includes the thing formed. Remember we started with Romans? If God made us, and I believe he did, then God didn't leave us here without instructions. That's the point I want you to get about the Bible today. God made us. His manual is this book. If we follow the manual, our problems are fewer. Doesn't mean we don't have them. It means they're fewer. Storms still come. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'm going to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. But the difference will be if I've read the manual and know what the maker has designed and expects of me, I will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. For I will know that even in the valley of the shadow of death, his rod and his staff are with me. He hasn't forsaken me. I'm not going through this because I screwed up 10 years ago. I'm not suffering this depression because I really wasted the first 30 years of my life. That, I, I know because I read it in the book. Mm -hmm.